Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you had a good day today. Today was a difficult day in Algo Alley Discord. Um, I was busy most of the morning, so I turned the bot on in the morning and didn't really watch too much and then found there was like a gazillion trades done. You can see them all here. So I'm not going to go through every trade, basically. Um, trades were taken on SPY, so SPY puts, these ones, SPY calls, Tesla calls, um, a whole bunch of trades. The end result um, wasn't super great today with three lots of 30% losses um, for me. But something interesting that I did find out today is that if I run out of buying power, which happened today, then no positions taken just gives us error. So I thought that was kind of interesting, but kind of a hard day. Um, I guess looking at the Discord, um, I agree with Ali in a lot of ways. Like, you know, we, he says we all have bad days. They're what make us stronger so long as we don't let them hold us back um, from or from moving forward. You have to stay positive even in the worst situations. Keep your head, heads up, blah, blah, blah. So um, it's true though. So, so I've been joining and reviewing and running alert services for almost 10 years now. And the number one reason in this, but also in other businesses, is people give up too soon, right? If somebody joined today and took these trades to think, wow, this guy just is terrible. He lost three trades in a row, all 30% losing trades. Um, they, you know, and just give up there, then you're guaranteed a loss. Um, but there's a very good chance, and you know, I'm, nobody's 100% sure of anything, but there's a very good chance that it's just one really bad day and that the next weeks to come will just like boost this ahead even more and that's what Ali basically says in the channel here so he says like um, you know this guy says you're in the green overall and he says yeah like 50,000 percent on positions in the last two or three years so you're like okay anybody can say that but then he points out and I, I didn't realize this until I checked he says you can you can check this the it's all recorded in one of the channels so this one, by the way, this is verifiable. So it's like, oh, that's what this is. So you can go in here and you can see all the bot alerts for, you know, a long, long time. Let's see how long it goes for. <laughs> um, it's a while, I think. Keep scrolling up, see where we're at. December 14th, 2021, I'll just keep going. Yeah, so you can see all the bot alerts since the start of this, it seems like, uh, this Discord. So a long time. Now, would anybody sit and go through them all? I highly doubt it, but you you know, the track record is there. It's just so deeply embedded in all this data. You could figure out, you know, what it was all about. Um, but it goes on and on and on. So people that were asking, like, for a track record, um, the, th the, thing, the thing with Algo Alley is, so I've talked to Thomas, the guy behind Algo Alley, and he is super, like, He's super transparent, but also very aware of the law. So um, these stock alert services and bots and things in general, like it's a pretty weird area of the law. Um, and it seems like these guys have a lot of um, legal advice. So when people are quick to scream like, you know, such and such, or you should have done such and such, these guys are actually one of the few that I found that are obeying the law, right? They're actually following the rules. Um, very to the letter, which is quite quite crazy. Um, really good to see. So a lot of the things it's kind of ironic that people might be like, oh, this is a scam or something. Yeah, but actually, they're actually doing things perfectly legally um, and carefully. So that was in here to show you. Da, 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 da. So. So this guy says, for legal reasons, he can't advise you on the risk level of the trade. Because a lot of people today were saying, wait, like, you mean you were going in small? Um, well, everybody was taking normal position sizes. And he kind of explains why that, you know, he can't really give you too much advice on what to do. Um, and it, it doesn't really matter, right, because we're all trading our own accounts. So... You have to say, am I prepared to accept two losses at 30% per position? If not, then don't set the bot to do that. Keep it a lot smaller. So, Hopefully tomorrow and the rest of the week will be better days, but I'm not too discouraged. I mean, it certainly wasn't a great result today, um, but I'm hoping that it was kind of a one-off and that, like he says here, you know, that we're probably going to get that those gains back. And that's been my experience. It's kind of like a stock, right? You know, it dips. And if you sell on the dip, um, then you know you 
you're never gonna you're never gonna get it back, right? You've taken a loss. But if you just keep that cool head over the long term, the stock will eventually trend back up. At least that's the hope. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video that I do on the service. All right, cheers.